Uh, I'm a London boy. London. And how old are you? I'm 27. I'm just singing for you today. Oh, you're singing today? OK, brilliant. Good luck. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And if you feel like I feel, baby, oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, wait, man. That's funny. Sorry, no worries. Actually, have me fooled. Thanks. Yeah, you're a very good actor. Where Where do you guys normally perform and gig? We just literally put the whole show together. I got a really dry mouth. This. David wants. Do you want to give him some water? Oh, David. <laughs> There we go, there we go, no problem. No problem. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Well done, really good, really good stuff, yeah? Really good. Uh, let me just say... I'm not sure you really want me to take my clothes off here. It's not quite as nice as that. I think, you know, we're going to have to take a vote before things get out of hand. OK, David, yes or no? Uh, yeah, I'm sort of on the fence. Um... <laughs> OK, it's a yes. OK. Alicia? It's a yes from me, guys. Simon? I'm going to say yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Four yeses, please. And it's a big, fat, juicy yes from me. Yes! Thank you! Good luck. Have fun. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you. What's your name? Asanda. And how old are you? Eleven. Eleven years old. <laughs> wow. She's oh, very cute. Lovely. Now, are you going to sing? Today? Yes. Who are the stars that you really look up to? You like to be like? Beyonce. <laughs> I'm often compared to Beyonce. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a diva. <laughs> Listen to Beyonce and Rihanna. They're like my inspiration. Like Beyonce, when she's on stage, she brings Sasha Fierce. Mm -hmm, girlfriend, you know what I'm talking about? Like, please. Music is everything to me. When I'm singing, I just feel magic. I 
Alexander sings around the house. She just cannot stop. Even yes. sometimes when she does her homework, it's a struggle because I have to tell her, listen, it's not time for singing now, Asanda. It's time to do your homework. If I got the chance to sing one of the Queen, maybe I could teach her how to have a little bit of an e inner diva and the Queen can teach me how to posh accent. <laughs> Take it away. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. Some write like a timeline. Some write like a diamond. Oh, she's got some moves, hasn't she? She's got some moves. You're a shooting star, I see A vision of ecstasy When you hold me I'm a love You're a diamond in the sky At first sight I felt the energy Of something I saw the light Inside your eyes Tonight When you beautiful Like diamonds Diamond. I, I'm, I'm lost for words. I mean, I kept laughing because you're just like, it's just ridiculous. And you've got all the moves. Asando, you know, I, I, we've had a lot of people your age over the years performing. I've never seen anyone who's got such amazing stage presence for an 11 year old. Thank you. I mean, seriously, seriously good. And you have the best smile I have ever seen. <laughs> We're going to vote. David, yes or no? It was phenomenal. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Good. A massive yes from me. Thank you. Amanda? It's a yes from me. Cassandra? You have. Four big fat yeses. Yes. 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 My parents. <laughs> oh, Watson, you've got two very proud parents behind you. She made He was nearly crying, your dad behind me. And quite Just rightly. Hold them. <laughs> hold them back. Well, listen, how are you going to celebrate now? Have McDonald's. Yeah! I like the sound of that. Good girl. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. What's your name? 
My name's Shakaru Dean, but people call me Junior. Junior. Yeah. How old are you, Junior? I'm 17. What are you going to do for us today? I'm going to be dancing. OK, so what got you into dance? Well, um, in the past, I've had some behavioural issues. And, like, I've been dancing, like, for a long time now. Okay. And it's really helped me as grow as a person and get better, so... I'm really, really nervous today. This is, like, the biggest performance I've ever, like, I'm ever going to do. I've come a really long way. Now I have the chance to prove myself and show my family who I am. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and, like, I feel like it's a must. I have to do it. When I was at school, like, I used to struggle a lot with the work. I would feel like if I'm getting a bad grade, I can't do better. Like, I would just feel like I'm, like, a dumb kid or I'm just not smart enough. I felt like misbehaving was, like, the only option. I used to get in a lot of trouble, got excluded a few times. I was in a bad situation. When I started dancing, it actually gave me, like, so much confidence and I got people praising me and saying good things about me rather than being in school and messing about. But, like, I've been training every day, man. So, like, hopefully, like, it all pays off. When I am dancing, I feel free. I can just, like, tell you a story. I can talk to you. Dancing has saved me from going down a completely different road. I can imagine if I wasn't dancing, like, I don't know where I would be today. OK. Good. The stage is yours. Usually that kind of thing cringes me out, but for some reason with you it didn't at all. I couldn't take my eyes off of you. That was incredible. Thank you. I could see it in your eyes, what it meant to you, and all the negative things that you've obviously been through, you've now turned into positive. It was an amazing, very different performance to anything we've seen before. Thank you. I have to tell you, it's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen on this show. I mean, seriously. You're going to be talked about after this performance, I'm telling you. Thank you. I thought it was so brave of you to channel all your emotions and anger or feelings, whatever they might be, into a piece like that. And it really expands what we think dance can be. So it was incredible what you did. You should be very proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to vote. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. Junior, it's a yes from me. 
It's a yes from me. And make that four yeses. Tremendous. Wow. Well that was amazing. Well done, Commander. Well, I thought that was really, like you said, he was very brave. Yeah, it really meant a lot to him. Yeah, definitely. What a brilliant thing. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Enjoy. Hello. Hello there. What's your name? James Moore. How old are you, James? I'm 24. Is this what you do full-time or do you have a day job? This is now full-time for me. I've been doing it. It's a bit of magic since I was eight. Simon loves magic. I know how much he loves it. I do like magic when it's good. OK. OK. Best of luck. Definitely going to say yes. Four big fat yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. What's your name? Darcy Oak. Darcy, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Are you living in the UK or are you? I'm not. No, I came here just for this. So. How old are you, Darcy? I'm 26. And what got you into? the act that you're doing today? When I was a kid, actually, I had hopes and dreams of becoming a doctor, but my parents insisted that I become a magician. So, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> my name is Darcy Oak, I'm 26, and I specialize in sleight of hand and illusions. I've loved magic for forever. When I was a kid, my dad was messing around with cards. I picked one, he pulled it out, and it was my card. I experienced that feeling of like, how did you do that? And I wanted to do that to other people. Now, say the magic words. Abracadabra. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm auditioning for Britain's Got Talent because it's the biggest talent show in the world. And I want to be performing on a global scale. And I feel that if it goes well, it can change my life. I'm going to go out on that stage and I'm going to do what I've practiced my whole life. And hopefully they like it. All right, wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.
yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, nice to meet you. Uh, what's the act called? Uh, Charlotte and Jonathan. Charlotte and Jonathan. OK. Um, uh, how old are you both? I'm 16. And I'm 17. OK. Um, and, and you thought the combination would work. Whose idea was it? Um, it was our singing teachers, actually. She thought it'd be good to try us out together. <laughs> and we both sounded quite good when we sang what we did. OK, you're not saying much, Jonathan. <laughs> Are you shy? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I've always had sort of problems with my size since I, I can remember. And when I was in sort of primary school, it was back then really that I had sort of the mick taken out of me and it, it kind of damaged my confidence quite a bit. When, when people would say something to me, I'd just... It'd just take a little piece out of me in a sense. I'm quite protective of Jonathan. Like, if someone... If I was there and someone stood there and said something to him, I wouldn't sit. I couldn't sit there with my mouth shut. Before you make a judgment on someone, I think you really need to get to know them. It's not as cliche as it's not judging a book by its cover. You've got you've got to read what's inside. Charlotte's been a really big help for me in terms of confidence and making me a better performer. And I really don't think I'd be going up on stage today if I didn't have Charlotte by my side. And do you think you could win? Yeah, together. <laughs> All right, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. that you can move an audience like that. You sing beautifully together. It was world class. Thank you very much, thank you. A pop voice and an opera voice together. It was incredible. OK, this is what I think. Uh, Charlotte, I think you're good, but Jonathan, you are unbelievable. You have 
An outstandingly good voice. Thank you very much. How old are you? 17. I mean, that's unbelievable. Jonathan, you are a future star. Thank you. I like the fact that this works as a duo, but I worry, Charlotte, whether you're going to hold him back. Well, we've come on here as a duo, and we're going to stay here as a duo. OK, David, we better vote, yes or no? Ah, oh, such an easy decision. Yes. Thank you. Definitely a yes from me. Charlotte, I think your voice complements Jonathan's really well, so don't be disheartened. It's a yes from me. You know, my head here would say to you, Jonathan, dump her. <laughs> and then my heart would say there was something kind of magical at moments together as well. So I'm going to say yes to the two of you. You've got four yes. <laughs> well done! Well done, Corey. He's like a young Pavarotti, that yeah. boy. I haven't heard a voice yeah. like that in years. Yeah. To be that young and that good. Simon's a massive fan of you, <laughs> isn't he? Seems like it, yeah. That is the biggest response we've had today. Well, oh my god. Oh, well done, done, my pal. Do you think it could be life changing? Life changing? Well, yeah, to be honest. I think sure. for you. Yeah. and I'm 10 years old and I love to sing. I've been singing ever since I was four. I sing at school, I sing at home. I sometimes sing when I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> I would like to be a singer and a diva <laughs> and I definitely want to be like Beyonce. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. Would you be any cuter? What's your name and how old are you? My name's Natalie and I'm 10 years old. OK. <laughs> and what are you doing today? Well, I'm going to sing a song called No One from Alicia Keys. OK, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that one. Does she sing all the time? Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, it drives you crazy? Yes, You've does. had enough? I oh, see so you're trying to palm her off on us now, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, darling.
You're Callum, Jade's brother. Are you OK? Yeah. Oh, well, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. I'm 26. I'm from Hull. Uh, and I'm singing a cover of a song by Robin. I love Robin. Yeah. It's dancing on my own, but it's a bit slower. OK. Whenever you're ready, good luck. <clears throat> Thank you. Somebody said you got a new friend And does she love you better than I can? And there's a big black sky over my town I know where you at, I bet she's around Stilettos and broken bottles I'm spinning around in circles And I'm in the corner Watching you kiss her oh, oh, oh. And I'm right over here Why can't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm giving Far away, but still so near The lights come on, the music dies But you don't see me standing here I just came to say goodbye I'm in the corner watching you kiss her Oh, and I'm giving it my Lies come on, the music dies, but you don't see me standing here. Well, okay. Pleasure to be here. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Um, so, what are your names, boys? Uh, my name's Charlie. And my name's DeAndre. And uh, together we're Baz and Melody. Bam. What's the dream with you two guys? I just want to deliver it to you people. I just want to give an awesome performance. I get you. I get you. What does your mum and dad do for a, for a job? 
My mother's a uh, personal trainer and my father's a stonemason. Stonemason! <laughs> yeah, bro! And you? My mum's a cook in a school. Dinner lady, yo! And, um... <laughs> Um, my stepdad, he owns his own company. He's a businessman, yeah! <laughs> Can I just say one thing? Alicia, I love you so much. You're my inspiration. He fancy Alicia. He don't like Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, you're beautiful as well. He is lying. Um, boys, can I just ask you, uh, what are you singing? Well, it's uh, Hope by Twist and Faith Evans, but it's a bit of a twist in the rap because I wrote it myself. What's the song about? It's about anti-bullying. Uh, so, anti-bullying? Yeah, because it's something that I feel deep about. So. I started rapping because I went through a very hard time in primary school. I was getting bullied. As a parent, it's one of the hardest things to see your child upset and going through emotional turmoil. It is hard, very hard. When I used to be like down in the dump, I used to write down my raps. I could express myself through what I was writing down. I was very happy with the way the Andre dealt with it. They actually stood up to the bully and resolved the situation. I moved school and uh, it's a much better environment for me. I love school. <laughs> I really do love school, it's amazing. I'm very proud of him, very proud. The first time we met, we really clicked. It was just an automatic connection. Like, I didn't think it would be like that. We're brothers. I think music's made him a lot stronger. If it wasn't for his music, he wouldn't be as confident and as cheeky, you know? It, it just helps him a lot. We really want people to listen and um, hear our lyrics that are in our song. OK, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Just a kid, I don't want no stress My nerves are bad, my life's a mess The nature call me, they hurt real bad I wanna tell my mom, she's having trouble with my dad I feel so trapped, there's nowhere to turn Come to school, don't wanna fight, I wanna learn So please, Mr. Bully, tell him what I've done You know I have no dad, I'm living with Just my mom Just be hopeful, yes I am Hopeful for today Take this music, yeah. if you sit Let it take you away. I like these two I do. Hopeful, uh. hopeful, and he'll make That's okay, just be home. Why the trip back at the day? I didn't have to be born, but now I have to pay. I ain't got no money, you take all I have. When they give it to you, I sit through my bags. I feel so scared when you shout me down. You kick me, punch me, throw me to the ground. When I ask you, yo, what have I done? You hit me again, I make fun of my mom. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah. Hopeful for today, take this music. Check it out. Music. Let it take you away and be hopeful. Uh. hopeful. And he'll make a way I know it ain't easy But that's okay Just be hopeful What I wear is all I oh, have no. We lost a home, I'm living from a bag Yo, Mr. Bully, help me please I'm flesh and blood, accept me please Hey, Mr. Bully, I don't know what to do My mind, I can't explain What I did to you, Mr. Bully Take ah, a minute, please, I'm a single day You bring me to my knees oh, Yes, I am hopeful oh. For today, take this music and you sit. Uh. Let it take you away and be hopeful, yeah. hopeful, and he'll make a way. I know, I know it ain't easy, but that's okay. Just be
Seems like we hardly need to uh, <laughs> critique you went so well, but let's have some uh, comments, Amanda. I'm just so happy for you. Your voice is beautiful. We all were in tears. So well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. The minute you started that verse, it actually brought a tear to my eye. It was really, really moving. Alicia, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be rapping, so, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> for two young kids like yourself to come out and, and sing about something that really affects you, do it in a style that's completely yours, is a really rare thing. That's why you got that golden buzzer today. Thank you so much. Well, you know what? I've heard of so monstrous songs today, and I just was literally <laughs> losing the will to live. You know what? I listen to every word. Did this stuff happen in your life? I got bullied a bit when I was younger, but... But not anymore? Yes, so it's all gone now, yeah. I think that record could be a hit, I really do. I really, really like you two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you again. Nice to see you too. Okay, remind everybody of your name. Uh, my name is Gattis Candis. Do you know, this is the only comedian I've ever found funny. <laughs> well, look, Gattis, welcome back. The stage is yours. Good luck. Oh, all of it? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> thank you. Go on, so, you know, the, now is uh, after a few cold days, it's getting warm outside. And I like the warm weather because it makes me warmer. Uh, that, that's my warm up joke. <laughs> <laughs> when my chicken has a birthday, I don't tell him uh, because he would not understand. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, I have another animal joke. Uh, woof, 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 woof. Uh, that, that's a joke you can take home for your dog. <laughs> Simon, ha have you got a dog? Three. Will you tell your dogs my joke? Yeah? I was thinking about that when you said it. Yeah, le 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 let me hear it. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> 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 I'm not, not sure they're gonna understand. Can you try it with my accent? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, th thank you for making me sound so sexy. <laughs> So, does anybody like seeing couples kiss in public? No? No, well, well I do. And, <laughs> and every time I do, I always go up to them and I stare directly at them. And usually they stop. And then, then they ask me, do you mind? And I'm like, I don't mind. <laughs> then my uh, name is Gattis Candis. And in case you want to follow me, uh, this is what I look like from behind. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Gattis! Alicia! Do you know, I absolutely love you. <laughs> Thank you. Your jokes are just ridiculous. And I like how you deliver them, which is just yeah. like you've accidentally found the stage. <laughs> You are actually, like I said, the only comedian that's really ever made me laugh. Your jokes are so stupid, I find that funny. Thank you. Gassis, you are a real original. And anyone who doesn't get it is thick. <laughs> you know what? You're kind of sexy as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it.
in the movie called The Wishes of Eastwick. I've never wanted to hear the buzzer so much. It was sort of like a nightmare, really. <laughs> we were sort of being tortured by something, and we couldn't make it stop. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> well, hello there. Hello. Say yes from me. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Saulo from Canary Island. How old are you? 28. 28. That's good. And um, <laughs> what's your star sign? Leo. Oh, Leo the lion. Yes. Same as me. <laughs> Saulo, are you married? No. Wonderful news. <laughs> So what's the big dream for you, Saulo? I want to show to the whole England what I can do. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, dear. Nice skin complexion, though. Yeah. But I'm feeling I just, I, um, the microphone. No. Hi, who are you? Uh, my name is Scott. Okay, so Scott, uh, tell me about you. Well, uh, I'm a magician. How old are you, Scott? I just turned 50. Okay, are you married? Happy birthday. Yes, thank you, yes, yes. Okay, good. Well, Scott, good luck. Thank you very much.
on set as we shook hands. She was just Miss Jones to me. And then I said, Miss Jones, you're a girl who understands. I'm a man who must. I mean, it's all going terribly wrong, isn't it? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, um, could we have a little chat before you start playing? W what? Could we have a little chat before you start playing? Uh, can I just get your, you? can I just get your name? <laughs> but I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. Listen. Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it's enjoyable, we'll come to that. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? What's, What's your, your name? name? What's your name? <laughs> yeah, one moment. What's your name? 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 The seaweed is all. What's, What's your name? name? What's your name? <laughs> you dream about going up there. That chance of back and stay. Just look at the roof around you. Right here on the ocean floor. Six wonderful things around you. What more is I looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea. Don't let it spend the dark and this can I'm taking it from me. Simon Cowell. I'm gonna show the world full day. All the sound is there where we're away. Why would they burn it? Don't have to blow that under the sea. Oh, he's off his way. Sorry, what's your what's your name? <laughs> what, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Vitali. 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 And how, how sorry? How old are you, Vitali? <laughs> how old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. And whereabouts are you from? Whereabouts are you from? Whereabouts are you from? Yeah. So what are you going to do for us tonight? <laughs> uh, why are we doing everything backwards? Because we didn't get a chance to do the chat I before the, the We act. know what he's going to do. We're going to start pressing those buttons again and... I have um, the second uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Michael Jackson. He's off again. Skin, dead head, everybody gonna have situation, aggravation, everybody allegation in the suit, all the news, everybody dog food, black bag, shark bag, everybody gonna have, all I wanna stay in them, that the real care about us. All I wanna stay in them, that the real care about us. Brilliant! Ah. Thank you very much. You do care about us. 
about you. We love you. Simon is Simon, I just want this to end. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it again. Again? No, don't. No, don't do it again. Ah, okay. Do it again. Amanda. Well, I love you. I love your instruments. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. Alicia. I mean, I buzzed you, but you did Michael Jackson, and I think I've changed my mind. Really? So I'd like to remove my X, please. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it was original. Yellow's a wonderful colour. <laughs> I'm going to kick this off with a yes! Oh, thank you. I honestly, this is one of the worst things I've ever heard. I don't know what you are thinking. It was terrible. It's a no, sorry. It's a yes for me! Yes! Wow. Thank you! Congratulations! Thank you! What are you thinking? <laughs> In a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. I don't feel I'm a proud of the one I blame, but I just don't understand how you love can do what no one else can. Got me looking so crazy right now, your love. Got me looking so crazy right now. Got me looking so crazy right now, your touch. Got me looking so crazy right now. Got me hoping you're baby right now, your kiss. Got me hoping you're saving me right now. Looking so crazy, your love. Got me looking, got me looking so crazy in love.
violence, picky for flawless. Oh, oh, putting in the gallery, bringing in the lottery, dipping in the pop blue. So, so, it's so good, it's dripping on wood, get a ride in the end of the good. Go, get them bobbing it, bang, bang, cocking it, queen, if you dominate from it. Hey, D, the A, the N, the G, the A, B. Let it be, let it be, oh, let it be. With the words of wisdom, let it be just like those other men. I'm tired of monkeying around. I want to be like you, bro. I want to walk like you, talk like you, too. Put a smile on your face, you did the Jungle Book, and you loved it. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, but never asking why. I fell under your spell, a love that no one could deny. What? Don't you ever say, I just walked away. I will always want you. I came in like a rocking ball. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break. All you ever did was wreck me. Yeah, you, you wreck me. It's slowly turn, you let me go. And now the rash is on the ground. Don't you ever say, I just want to wait. I will always want you. I can't live a life running for my life. I will always want you. Break you, break you.
It's time to face the mute, <coughs> the impressions. Actually, doing the, uh, the X Factor guy, all you have to do is right at the very end, roar like a lion. Simon Carl! <laughs> Thank you, and... <laughs> Here, we can witness a whole plethora of strange and fascinating creatures. That's good. Nice. The obligatory wild pack of street dancers and the balding middle-aged car enthusiast. <laughs> Look at the body on this. <laughs> I love the sexy curves, the exquisite contours, but most importantly, the two big airbags. So actually, to do Jeremy, you just have to get a few key points in. You have to start low. Go up like this, pause, and go back down like this. <laughs> so, once you've got your Jeremy, it's very easy to slip into God. It's all about working it, working it, and looking good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 big boy, yes, look at me, hey, well done. Yes, you do, Claudia, you have to jump up and down as if you're absolutely busting for the toilet, yes? <laughs> And another guy that also talks in quite a breathy manner, who's not... <laughs> not a million miles away, ladies and gentlemen. Do an impression. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> he also talks very pointed and staccato, is this guy. Now, to do your Declan Donnelly, what you have to do is always look like you're on the verge of laughing out loud. while sharing a cheeky little in-joke with members of the crew. Gary, on camera too, he gets it. <laughs> No-one ever tries to do with me. I am the Ivan! Sing it in your talent! Who's this? If Declan Donnelly ever decided if... <laughs> if Declan decided to go into politics, what you'd have to do is send him to Eton lower his voice, and then you would have, um, this chap. Now, to do your Boris, you have to, uh, <laughs> talk at different speeds, whilst looking like you've been up all night, downing, uh, tequila in a bush. Good night. Thank you. Good evening, guys. You are OK Worldwide. And where are you from? I'm from Essex, and yeah. these guys are from Romania. Oh, really? What are you going to do today? Dance, lash, acrobatics, free running, gymnastics. And what do you hope to achieve by doing well on the show? We want to entertain the whole of Britain and then hopefully the whole of the world. All right, well, good luck. Wish you the best of luck. We can't wait to hear the song now. Thanks. Good luck.
Hi, how's it going? So your name is? Matt McCreary. How old are you? 20. 20. You work? Do I teach kids how to free run? Matt, two minutes can change your life. He's gone. He's changed his mind. Do you write your own stuff? Yeah, I'm going to sing one of my own songs for you today called Summertime. Summertime. What's the song about? It's about summer without somebody, but how it's still a happy time of the year. OK, brilliant. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, baby girl. Summertime is creeping in through my window. The sun She's really good. shines is melting all my cold and cares away. So maybe this year my summer blue. Those girls close away And boys' eyes are rising As they figure out what it is they should say Time for romancing, slow dancing Enhancing the glances Oh baby, what a ball What's your name? Leo. How old are you? Seven. Oh, bless you. Obviously, you're playing the piano. I'm blindfolded. No Ooh. way! Oh. My God. Sure. I love it. Thank you. What's your name? I'm uh, Vladimir Georgievsky. Great name. Thank you. Where do you live? Swansea. Swansea? Yes. Okay. Are you married? Uh, yes, we have uh, two sons. Lovely. What are you going to do for us today? Um, I bought a trampoline for my kids, for my boys, for, in the back garden. I just start bouncing with them. <laughs> and um, some of friends of us uh, told me, uh, you know, I should do Britain's Got Talent. 
So do you believe you can win this show? Um, if I wouldn't believe, I wouldn't be here. OK, well, that's good. Good luck. Go Thank for you it. very much. I think you're secretly really good at trampolining, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. That was great. And we're always saying we, we're looking for something we've never seen before. And, and I know Simon would really appreciate the bits where you really could have been injured very badly. I really enjoyed it because it goes back to the silent movie days. It just shows that a relatively young audience can still appreciate it and still laugh. Yeah, it was fantastic. What do you hope to achieve from this if you do well? Royal variety for me would be a dream come through. Oh, that was really, really good. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. I think, I think you'd be perfect for Royal Variety. Thank and you. You choreographed that to perfection. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. My favourite act today, I'm going to say yes. Well, thank you. It's a yes from me. Thanks. It's a yes from me. You got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Gracie Wicking Sweet. Love that name. Great. <laughs> How old are you? I'm, I'm 10 years old. And what's your big dream? To be a star and perform to a massive audience like this. Right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Well, we're dying to see what you're going to do. Take it away. All that training, this is it.
OK, good luck. Thank you. Dinky little thing. job as my security guard. <laughs> what made you want to do this? I used to do ballet and I was dancing. <laughs> this is a long way from ballet. <laughs> but I didn't like it. She's cute as hell like that. Yeah. As soon as that sword comes out, jump up! Jessica, you are one to watch in this competition. That was incredible. So impressed. It was brilliant as an act, and I'm sure you're going to be in the Olympics one day, dear karate. Maybe in the next act, two little people could be the villains, and you can beat them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it means us. OK, moment of truth. David, I'm going to say yes. Jessica, it's a massive yes from me. It's a yes from me. Jessica. Oh, yes, and congratulations. Good job. Hello. Hello. What, what are your names? My name is Billy, and this is my sister, Emily. Oh, fantastic. So how long have you known each other? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Billy and Emily. Um, how old are you guys? I'm 28, and she's 25. Take it away, the stage is yours. Thank you.
gonna happen now? They live and let die. Like, I was so worried for your head. You're fearless mm. and like a fresh spin on roller skating. I, I thought it was fantastic. It felt dangerous and fresh. So I'm, I congratulate you for bringing something so exciting to roller skating and to Britain's Got Talent. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of roller skating acts on this show. Normally, they are horrific, because you kind of think, what can you do on a stage with roller skates? I've actually never seen an act like that in my life. I mean, it's incredible. Really incredible. I'm going to kick this off with a big, fat yes. Thank you. A very, very easy yes. Well done. Massive yes from me. <laughs> it's a big, fat yes. He's a Maltese terrier. Why have you entered this show? What, what are you going to do today? Doga. I teach Doga. Doga. So oh, yes. what's that? Doga is yoga for you and your dog. Wicked. Oh. So you've got to watch the act. That's it. Good boy. Rocky, watch the act. Well, I've got to see this. Right. OK. with your dog and bow. Place your dog on the top of your thighs. I can't place my dog on my thighs. Look at the size of them. And rise up into boats. Your dog is the sailor. And you're the vessel. <laughs> and we're going to finish in hot dog. <laughs> Place your dog on the top of your thighs. What do you think? Rise up. What do you think of that? And squeeze. <laughs> Number pop. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Come on. I think he wants to say hello. They've all got their dogs as well. Come on, come up on stage. Are they here? Come on, let's do Doga. Here we go. You gotta take your shoes off and your socks. Did he wait? Oops. Wait now. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm not. Um. It's my, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I let the little dogs carry on, and I will go by the front stage. Well, that's what you thought of the act, huh? Okay, let's do the upper paw pose. All of them rise up, extend, extend, extend. Now ready, gently fold forward in loose dog position. Just gently fold forward. 
Hold your dog, support your dog. And relax. There you go. Very nice, breathe, don't forget to breathe. And bring him back into the center. Well done, everybody. I think that's enough doga for one day. He's We've been got... on your shoes! He's <laughs> <laughs> been on your shoes! Robbie, that was so on yoga. There's literally we everywhere. I think someone needs to get a mop. Whose dog was it? Oh! <laughs> Daddy will carry you. As you can see, we, we all love our dogs on this show. And that was fantastic. Whether it's an act or not, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's vote. It's a no from me. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. What do you think, Bert? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. OK, you've got three yeses. Well done. Yay! Right, Bertie, you're going to go now. Next time, make it Simon's shoes, OK? Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. <laughs> and deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! <laughs> Alicia? Oh, no. Yeah. Alicia laughing? Oh, no. Alicia not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me a lot of my dad. He's a cross dresser. He gets especially cross when he can't find his socks. <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried for David Williams when he swam in the River Thames for charity because of all that garbage going in his mouth. But since I've been watching BGT, I'm relieved it's all coming out again. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm good, how are you? How's your dog? He's gorgeous. He's quite boring, though, isn't he? No, he's yeah. mental. Come on, Max. Come on. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, they're all ready for you. Let's... let's good boy, Max. Thank you. It's a Yorkshire Terrier. Didn't like me, did he? What's his problem? Hi, what's your name? Dave. Dave, and who have you got in your arms, Dave? Max the dog. He's yeah. eyeballing me, isn't he? Yeah. Eh? Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Come here. Max. Yeah. And it's cool, please. Come 
Seriously? Are. There you are. Good boy. Are we friends? Are we friends? Are we friends now? Are we friends now? Are we friends? There we are. There we are. Come on, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. What's his problem? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write this. Are you okay? Are you okay? You're right. Good. Go on. Uh, I like the act. <laughs> Dog has good instincts. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Apart from chasing ants, I just really would love to know what else Max was going to do. He should have done some singing. Seriously? Always wanted to find a dog that could sing. It's just brilliant, it all went to plan. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's enough. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> maybe not. No, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Where are you from? Um, I'm from South Norfolk. What's your day job, Ben? Uh, I, I do this act. OK, I'm not going to ask what it is, because we like surprises. Lush. Uh, tell me why you've entered the show this Lush. year. Well, my, my two little boys, they say, come on, Daddy, you've got to be on Britain's Got Talent. So you've got sons, you've got kids. I've got two children. OK, anything else? Yeah, uh, well, they did have a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I won't go there. All right, Ben, good luck. Thank you ever so much. Well, you see, I think my little stint now is all about uh, me uh, mishearing lyrics in music, see? I mean, it all started when I went to see The Lion King. Anybody see The Lion King? Yeah. Oh, I love The Lion King, but I must have misheard something, right? Because I thought the first song was about the Arsenal Club football manager. <laughs> <laughs> What I did then, right, I had a little thing to myself. I thought, oh, maybe there's other songs, right, that you can hear that you think maybe they're singing something different, right? So I've amalgamated loads, and it's just for you. Hit it, Shirley! You Come on, Come on. You Um, my name is Robert. Um, how old are you, Robert? Um, I, I, I just turned 30 uh, 11 years ago. So... <laughs> uh, is this your job or do you have a normal job? Um, I teach tiny little primary school children music as well, so I do that, which is nice. OK, best of luck. <laughs> right, so, um, ba basically, I've, I've written a song specifically for for you, which makes me nervous, and, and also I'm slightly nervous because I've got something called dyslexia, which, is, which, which was very good for music, because when I was young, I taught myself the piano, although it's not so good as I'm older. I recently tried to book tickets for Rihanna, and I booked tickets for Ryanair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, very good. <laughs> I've got something called Asperger syndrome, which means I'm a genius. Um, <laughs> No, it's nice to be here. I've had a bit of a rough week. I've actually moved into a flat with, with my boyfriend, yes, boyfriend, gay, <laughs> and, uh, and autistic, two ways I can't think straight. And, um, <laughs> and I... Thank you. And, um, 
That's a good one. So, I, I usually, when I do clubs, I swear a lot, so I've got to be PC. I've done a song which is literally PC, because it's about computers. <laughs> and uh, I have done it three times, and each time people have laughed, so if you don't, you're wrong. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. George warned me of working in a computer shop. I work in the computer shop, make a computer bright and clean. So much crumbs and vomit, and don't ask what's on the screen. I do half the work, judge double the time. You wouldn't want a job like mine if you would find the things I'd find. When I'm cleaning Microsoft Windows. <laughs> David Wallims wanted to update his content reminder. He brought me a massive ring binder. But when I looked, all the contacts were from Grindr. Cleaning <laughs> 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 rugs up windows. Alicia Dixon's webcam was another case. She said the picture was awful, but actually it was just her face. <laughs> 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 was too lovely, her face was too lovely. <laughs> there you go. Amanda Holden was the only one whose Instagram was on the mark. She said her outfits have so much spark. I said, I'm just jealous I'll never dress like you because <laughs> I don't shop in Primark. Um, <laughs> I'm OK with that. Cleaning Microsoft Windows. <laughs> Simon Cowell's Facebook was around the bend. He brought it to me to try to mend. It wasn't broken. He's just got no friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cleaning mugs of windows. <laughs> Robert, I love you. Wow. I mean, everything you said was hilarious. You're just a beautiful soul. Comedy flows from you like water. I love that you had a go at us all. I think some people were more hurt than others. <laughs> <laughs> some was just entirely truthful. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Wow. From start to finish, that was hilariously funny. You're a shining star. It's fantastic. You're very self-deprecating, and I think that you have funny bones, and your audition was fabulous. Thank you. Wow. Really good. Look, Robert, you know what? You're very unique, you're very quirky, very funny, very naughty. Robert. Which we like. Thank you. Thank you. David, yes or no? It's a big fight, yes! Wow. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. Robert White, you got four yeses. Congratulations. Right, we're looking for the last act here from the auditions. Uh, is it Sue? Sue? Sue. We're looking for Sue, who was the final auditionee of 2017. Sue! 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 Last act. We need the last act on stage. Sue! Is Sue there? Any, any acts there? No? Don't rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to oh live God. just to do it. Life's candy and the sun's a war. Why don't you sneak on? So? Don't rain around a club to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly. I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill of oh, me. Oh, Sue. Sue. Hi, Sue. Oh, At least I didn't think it had so I guess I make it So whether I'm the rose of sheer perfection A freckle on the nose of life's complexion A cinder or the shiny apple of the sun I've got a fly once, I've got to try once Only can die once, right sir? Ooh, life is juicy, juicy and you'll see I gotta have my bite Oh, 
Don't beat him, join him. Come on, then. I'm from Clayton Lee Moores in near Accrington in Lancashire. You're just a good Do you have a day job? Yeah, uh, I'm a singer. <laughs> You're brilliant. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what you did to us, but you made David strip. And oh, woo! You're one of those people. You made us all so happy. Yeah. We all just wanted to join in like a lot of the best performers. <laughs> It was a very, very fitting end to Britain's Got Talent 2017. You were fantastic. Simon. I'm traumatised. I literally can't get this thought out of my mind, what I just saw. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm, you know what? That was a great entrance. Uh, the fact that you carried on with all the nuttiness. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Last audition of the series and you made it worthwhile, right? Can we take a vote, guys? I'll kick this off with a yes. Thank you. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. And I'm not saying yes to you, but I'm saying yes to you. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, what a way to what end the night. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's it for auditions. Say thanks, Sue. Oh, <laughs> nice Sue, are you? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? My name is Dan Chez. I'm from Wolverhampton. I am 60 years old, what? and I'm here to do my thing. You're gonna sing, right? Yes, Simon. This is an original song called Wiggle Wine. Because <laughs> wiggle. <laughs> wiggle wine. Wine. Yes! Woo! Wiggle wine. Good luck. <laughs> Let's do it, Don Chez. Come on, Don Chez! All right.
growing up, I used to love to pull pranks on my family and friends. Whenever my mom was ironing, I grabbed the iron and do this. <laughs> <laughs> I've invented the world's only trained flea. Oh, there he goes. I hit you, son. Oh, sorry. Well, let me just dry this up for you. No problem. Piece of cake. There you go. <laughs> I'll take a picture of it. I'll take, I'll take a picture of it. What's your name? My name's Marty Cutts. Oh, you're American? The Canadian. Canadian. Okay. Actually, but my family's from Liverpool. Oh. Yes! If I knew you were gonna do that, I never would have busted you. That is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. But I'm gonna kick this off with a humongous yes! I'm saying yes! Yeah. <laughs> Yes, for me! You've got four yeses. Well done. Yes! Yes! Thank you very much, you guys. Let's get amongst this. Come on. Let's see how we feel at the end of it. I'd like to remove my ex. David. I just sort of thought, wouldn't it be great to see Simon sat on the chair yes. and you doing the dancing? We can make it happen. Come on. David, David, no. David, no. <laughs> the first time in seven years we've gone on this stage. Let's do it. Oh, no. Play the music. <laughs> Play the music. Let it shine, let it shine. 
Richard, uh, I really wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Do you mind if I join you on Please. the table? Please, I would like that. Thank you very much. I want to see the animals on the screen. What are we I love stuff like this. Now, I have a gift here. This is a gift which is going to be for one of you judges in just a few moments, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I also have two notebooks. On each of these notebooks, I have different things written. One is for you, Amanda. Right. As I flick through, uh, would you mind reading some of these out for me? Jennifer Aniston, Madonna, Brad Pitt, Tiller Swift, Vin Diesel, Halle Berry, Emma Stone, Tom Hanks. They're all celebrities, 60 celebrities to be precise. If you could hold your hand flat for me, place your other hand directly on top and just hold it there. I also have one for you, David. Oh. This one here is a drinks menu. On every page is a different drink. Please read Cola, it out for Fanta, us. Fanta, Mojito. Vodka, rum, whiskey. I'm right now. I'm just... I'm just... If you could hold your hand flat and place your other hand on top. Now, just with your thumb, lift up, make sure no one sees, and just take a peek of whatever you choose, and then slam it closed for me. And please, could you stand up and just throw them onto the stage, because we no longer need those. Unleash the anger. Perfect. Good throw, David. OK, Amanda, we're going to start with yourself. You're thinking of a celebrity, is that correct? Yes. Thinking of a celebrity? Just stand up for me. What I need you to do is send your thoughts straight directly into my mind. I need you just with your finger, look me directly in the eye and just touch me just on the forehead there. <laughs> you felt that, right? Yes! Thank you so much. Oh now, goodness. what you've just done is Did you've you just directly that? sent your thoughts into my mind. And I'm now going to very creatively find out who you are thinking of. Now, believe it or not, before I became a magician, I spent six years in an origami intensive training center in the heart of Japan. Just like so I could be here with you guys doing this right now. Now, am I right in saying this is someone who's very particular about their hair? Yes. And I think it's probably a man. Don't give anything away, but I'm going to just... Oh, that's perfect. OK, Amanda, please tell us, this wonderful audience, who are you thinking of? David Beckham. David Beckham. If I open this up, I've made something very, very special for you to keep. We have Mr. Think of a drink, is that correct? Correct. Would you mind now revealing to us the drink that you've been thinking of? It's the drink I'm drinking right now. Which is? A cup of tea. A cup of tea? A cup of, a cup of tea. tea. Now, this has been here the whole time. It's been in front of yourself, Simon. Yeah. Inside here, ladies and gentlemen, just as you asked for, orange soda. 
a little bit awkward. But we can still fix this. Uh, don't panic. Could you just reach out your hand just here for me? Just send me that positive energy. Oh! What is going on? Wow. I didn't like it. Believe it or not, you've now just filled me with all of your kinetic energy, which allows me to act almost like a microwave, so the can starts to heat up. Oh, come on. If it gets hotter and hotter, please feel it. What? Feel the can. It's getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, just make sure that is a sealed can. I was do think of one drink you said, breakfast tea, is that right? Correct. If I open this up, ladies and gentlemen, just what you ordered. No way! Tea. Tea? In a can? Please taste it. It's a proper cup of tea. Please taste it, make sure it really is tea. A delicious cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to take you back. Way back. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You cry all the time. Well, you ain't never heard a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Stay in the night. Stay in the night. Susan Boyle, and that's just one side of me. <laughs> Hello. They used to call me on my cell phone.
the pole. What are you doing, man?
Eric Jolly. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name's Tom Ball. Tom Ball? Tom Ball, yeah. Oh, Tom, Tom Ball. So, yeah, Thomas Ball, Tom Ball. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Tom Ball. He does look like Mr. Tom Ball. Right, Tom. And where are you from? I'm from uh, West Sussex, near Brighton. Oh, great. How old are you? I'm 23. OK. Oh, he's a baby. You look very happy, Tom. Yes. I'm very excited. Are you? I'm really excited, yeah. OK, who are you here with? Uh, I'm here with my fiance and okay. my dad. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Oh, is the image of his dad. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Yeah. OK, and what do you do for a living, Tom? I'm a secondary school teacher. Are you? I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. The kids don't know I'm here either. Are I mean, you serious? Uh, yeah, I wanted it to be a surprise. And God, what if it goes badly? If it goes badly, then it goes badly. I mean, it will be really, <laughs> really bad. The children that you teach, do they know that you have this particular talent? Most don't. I think I've only sung to like one of my oh, classes. So oh, so you're a singer? Singing. Oh, yeah, singer. Yeah, Brilliant. I sing. Okay. okay. And is there one artist out there who you've gone? I could be as big as him with the right opportunity. I'm compared to Michael Ball quite a lot. Uh, and the last name helps with it as well. <laughs> I get it. Anyway, good luck. Thank you. Come on, Tom. Go 
up to the top of the class, Tom Ball. <laughs> well, Tom. Wow. Who knew what a powerhouse you were. Thank you. That was an exceptional audition. I mean, one of the best singers we've had in the last 16 years. Thank you so much. I really felt moved by that vocal and that performance. It was really, really special. Your lovely character, personalities, yeah. sweetness, humility, all of that mixed together just made for the perfect audition. Thank you so much. And you know what, Tom? There's lots and lots and lots of good singers out there. I always believe your personality plays a huge part in these auditions as well. There's something very likeable about you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think there's a single person in this room who wanted you to fail. I'm so happy you came. I'm so happy. Right, David. Do you never forget a good teacher? How lucky your kids are to have you teaching them because you seem like such a lovely person. You've got this exceptional talent. Thank you. So, Tom, let me give you your first yes. Thank you. It's a pleasure to give you a yes. A yes from me. I think you've got about 4,000 yeses. Well done, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Tombo. Tombo, Tombo, Tombo. How are you guys? Hi, Simon. How are you doing? We are good. We are so excited. Yes. So, tell everybody where you're from and what brings you to Britain's Got Talent today. Okay. Um, we are from Uganda, Kampala, Africa. So, we are going to dance for you guys and for you judges. Yes. Oh, thank you. And have you brought anyone with you? Mr. Kavma Dauda. Is he there? Yes. Can you say hi? Can we say hi? Yeah, go on, please do. Hi. Oh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about this group. I have 30 kids that I'm taking care of. Some are orphans. We are using music, dance and drama to make lives better. Amazing. Oh my God, it's amazing. Bless you, darling. <laughs> That's incredible. Ghetto Kids is like an orphanage in Uganda. We are 30 kids living in one house. We are one big family. Before, I was living on the streets of Kampala. Being part of the Ghetto Kids has given me a lot of opportunities. They feed me, they go to school, they buy me clothes. If this one is sad, we all be sad. If we are happy, we all be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kavma Dauda, we call him dad. He's not our real father, but he's the one who takes care of all of us. Ghetto Kids is all about making their lives better through paying their school fees, feeding, hospital bills, all the basic needs that a child wants. My dream is to build a very big home and help many kids as I can. Over the hills and far away. It's a happy place because it's all about making lives better through dance. Because of him, that's why we go to school. That's why we are healthy. Because of him, that's why we are here. This is the first time for the kids to be in London and they are so excited. What do you think London's like? London, it's cold. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> I'll be so proud to watch all of them perform tonight. Because of dance, we are here. We can't wait. We are so happy. We are so excited. Take me to my happy place. Well, we're all rooting for you, and the yeah. stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look, look. Oh. We are the ghetto kids from the part of Africa, Uganda.
never actually happened. <laughs> Normally the golden buzzer is pressed afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, someone didn't explain the rules of Britain's Got Talent to him. He gave you the golden buzzer <laughs> and you performed with the confetti. It was magical. <laughs> and by the way, who's this little one? My name is Josephine. Hello, Josephine. How old are you, Josephine? Five years. I just want to say, you're absolute superstars, every single one of you. What you're doing is absolutely incredible, and we are honoured that you have come to Britain's Got Talent. You've lit up the stage, and yes. the energy in the room and joy is incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your talent is unbelievable. And it felt to me like you'd really raised the bar on Britain's Got Talent, so well done. I was literally exploding, I'm telling you. You should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to see you back. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah. I think it's incredible that you're so young, you've flown all the way, and no fear, this is an audition we're going to remember. And it was brilliant. That's what this show is all about. Yeah. And that's what the Golden Buzz is for. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Killian O'Connor. Nice to meet you, Killian. How old are you and where are you from? I'm 13 years old and I come from County Meath, Ireland. Amazing. 
Hello. When I grow up, I want to be a magician. What do I like about magic? Uh, it's just trying to make people smile. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> if I can make them believe in magic and then perform at the Royal Variety Show, I would legitimately cry, uh, honestly. Before I had the magic, my social skills were very bad. I would just be in the corner. I didn't want to be within 50 feet of anyone. Lots of people. Just go in and enjoy the moment. Okay. My legs would be shaking, my arms would be trembling. Ah, ah. Good luck when you're ready. Simon, think of a playing card. Got it. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess around, do you? Uh, seven of diamonds. Wrong. <laughs> Sometimes everything is not quite as it seems. Watch. The black hole. A journey that begins where everything ends. I'd like to bring you on my journey. I've learned that having autism is not a disability. It's an ability. When I was younger, I was unable to interact with people. I felt a bit empty, incomplete. I felt invisible. That was good, wasn't it? After discovering magic, my life changed. It was like a light switch coming on inside my head. I found a way to interact with people through my magic. No way the milk's not in there. It is, you know. Magic is my universe, and my life is now whole. It is great, isn't it? It's brilliant. Really good. I have a notepad here, and written on each page are some of my favorite sweets. Have a look and see. Yeah. Please, say stop. Stop. Could you please call out the treat you've stopped on? Jelly beans. Jelly beans. Earlier, I left a special gift for you. Could you please remove the lid and reveal the gift inside? Sure. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> How did you do that? Now, Simon, before you eat the sweets, I'd like you to guess how many jelly beans are inside the jar. <laughs> okay, got it. What is it? Oh. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, 2,500. 2,500. Would you be impressed if I told you that you've guessed rice? Yeah. That's impossible, isn't it? Literally impossible. Could you please remove the lid and read the notes I placed inside before the show? What? That is amazing. Oh my God. That is amazing. Bless him. Oh. Wow. That's unbelievable. Earlier, I asked you to think of a playing card. Could you please remind everyone what that card was? Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Could you please remove the one face sound card? Yep. Got it. Please show it to everyone. Here we go.
thank you. You with the sun Don't be discouraged though I really Oh, I love what it means to it. Hard to Darkness inside you can make you feel so small. Why am I crying? Why am I crying? You make us cry. Oh my God, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> wow, wow. You are unbelievably talented. <laughs> Seriously. I love him. I love him. That absolutely freaked me out when I saw that. There's something really, really incredible about you. And I do believe in magic. And you're such an amazing performer. Thank you. You're brilliant. Brilliant. Yes, you've made me and Alicia a mess. <laughs> you were amazing. Thank you. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Great showmanship. I'm really glad that magic has changed your life and given you so much confidence. But above all of that, you are a little superstar, so well done. Thank you. I loved everything about it, but I especially love you, your passion, your personality. You. And it's clear to everyone just how much this means to you, which makes this extra special. I was totally, totally captivated by what you were doing. And for somebody so young, it's an incredible quality. You have a fantastic future in front of you. I agree. Okay, we're going to take a vote. Bruno. Say yes for me. Alicia. Say yes. If this world makes you crazy, take an all you can bear. It's a yes for me. You call me up. Four yeses. Oh, 